Okay, so stick around to the end so you can see who won the rhinestone starter kits and I actually did a few more because so many people wanted them. And here's our first look at the brooch. I instantly saw that it had the horseshoe maker mark, um, which is one of the earliest ones and makes it more sought after by Haskell collectors out there. You take me to the stars and the Very late <laughs> my hair looks amazing but I am about to start cleaning this and uh, it's a gorgeous piece I had to continually look it up to try to see if I needed to buy um, some different rhinestones or find different rhinestones because this um, faux turquoise was the one that came in it in here but I can't find it I don't think it's this blue rhinestone um, or cabochon, so I'm going to keep looking, but I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning it because I've had it for some days now and I don't want to have it continually just sit around. So I'm kind of going to show you guys the process of that and we're going to be able to save a lot of these rhinestones in here because they're not bad. They're not dead. Uh, they're not, I mean, they're still extremely, I don't know if you guys can see this, very, very sparkly, very pretty. So, so one of the first things I had to do was get rid of these big clumps of glue that was in the rhinestone settings or like the rhinestone cups. So I'm just taking my trusty little X-Acto knife um, and scraping it all out very carefully so I'm not scraping the finish but I am getting it out very thoroughly so I can place rhinestones back in there correctly. So I've just wiped off the verdigris which is actually just a green blue pigment that occurs from the corrosion of brass, bronze, or copper and the color actually just comes from the corrosion of those metals and it's a copper acetate. And to get it off, I mix my own little paste because on a big large item you can soak it, but you can't do that with costume jewelry because it's very delicate. So I take it with a tiny little Q-tip and wipe it on and I just continually do this until I get it off. So my preferred method is to first dry rub this uh, verdigris off. Um, so I just take like a hard bristle toothbrush uh, or a toothpick and I just kind of scrape until I can get a lot of that corrosion off so then I can use the paste and get to the core of it because if I put it on just a lot of that verdigris it's just kind of going to make a sloppy mess I'm going to have to clean it all again so that's the reason I am dry rubbing it with the toothbrush and stuff first. The problem with corrosion that's been on there so long is that it actually eats through the pigment of the metal. It's eating your metal up. So I'm not gonna be able to preserve the really rich, like 24 karat gold look of some of these places. Mm.
back and forth like a creature in a zoo Unsure of what you ought to do So I did eventually find an example and thank goodness because I did not know if that uh, turquoise cabochon was going to go with that or not but it does so it looks great So I still did the two starter kits like I said I would, but I also did three other kits that are just a little bit smaller. I just didn't put the wax and the sticks and the ear backings in there. But basically they still have a lot of rhinestones so other people could have them. And also, uh, if anybody really does need some rhinestones and you just need them cheap, uh, just let me know. Email me and I can get you some just for the cost of shipping. Um, I just can't give them away to everybody because shipping is so expensive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.